Today on The Joy of Editing, we're going to be looking at the new Photoshop beta generative expand found inside the crop tool. Stay tuned. Hello everyone and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. Yeah, today I want to show you the new feature found in the crop tool in Photoshop beta and that is the generative expand. Now this is really a great new feature, so let's check it out. I have two different examples for you today. One will be this landscape image and the other will be an image that I generated in Adobe Firefly. We're going to expand this out and I'll show you what kind of a fantastic result we can get from it. If you'd like to see how we can generate these type of images right here in Photoshop, I have a video that I'll link at the end of this video that you could go ahead and watch that and find out how to do it. Well, let's go ahead and get started. Let's go to this image first. Now, I'm in the crop tool. Now, you can type C to get the crop tool. And you'll find in the crop tool uh, under fill, you have different types of fill. And this is where you're going to find the new generative expand right here, as well as content aware. And then you can see I have my standard default transparent where I just crop without any type of a fill. And you'll also, when you're in the crop tool, this will come up in the contextual taskbar generative expand. If you're not finding the contextual taskbar, just come up under window and you're going to find it right down here. Just make sure it's checked on. Now, what I like to do with it, see the three dots right here. I click this and click pin bar position, and then you can move this around anywhere on the canvas that you like. So just drag it anywhere you would like to keep it and it will stay anchored there. Now, notice in the contextual taskbar, you have ratio here with the drop down, And you'll also have that over here in the crop tool ratio. It's basically the same. Whatever you do here, it will mimic it right over here. Right now, I don't have any settings in here. So I can do like a free form crop. So what I want to do is I just want to pull down on the canvas like this or pull down on the crop and add some extension here. And right now it's in content aware fill. So if I click the check here, it'll go ahead and fill that with content aware. And we'll see what kind of a result we get here. It takes a second or two. It's pretty quick, but there you go. And it doesn't look bad. There's a lot of repeating patterns here. I'm just going to undo that command or control Z. And now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to pull down here. And now let's fill that in with the generative expand. So I'll click on this and then we can just click generate or you could just type your return key and it'll go ahead and fill that in. You can see it's filling in. Now I'm not going to make you wait all the time to see how long this takes. It's usually about 20 to 25 seconds. It's in real time the first time. So you can actually see how long it takes and it's just about done. And as you can see, it does a fantastic job. But we can do more. Let me undo that. I'll do Command or Control Z again. And this time, I'm going to go ahead and drag down again, like somewhere right around in here. And I'll just type in lake and click on generate. And now you can see it added a lake down here. I have reflections in the water. And then if you click up here on these arrows, here's the next variation. Okay, some grass here. I don't like that as much. And here's the next variation. And that one's also pretty nice. Like we have some of these little leaves down here in the water. But I think I'll choose the first variation. So I'll click on that one. Now you could click generate here and generate some more, three more. You always get three at a time. But we can take this even further. So let's see what we can do. Let me click on the image. I have the crop tool again. And now let me change the aspect ratio. And I can change it here. I want to change it to a two by three or a four by six, or you could do it over here as well. You can go either way. So let's do it over here. Now it's going the wrong direction. So I'll type my X key and change it to a landscape aspect ratio. Now let's really do something here. Let me go ahead and move this up. Let's make it even larger. Let's see what we can do here. And I'm going to pull this over to right about here. We'll give it a little bit more sky. Let's really put this to the test. I'm not going to type in anything here. I'll just click on generate and we'll see what it can do. All right, now that's pretty impressive. Now I'm taking this to the extremes and most of the time you're just gonna add a little bit of extra space on your crop for most cases, but you can take it to extremes and I'm showing you here that you really can do this. So that's one variation, here's another. That one's pretty nice as well, here's another one. And that's okay, I don't like this right down in here. Let's go to the middle one. That one's not too bad. Let's go to the first one again. And that's the first one. And I think I like that the best. Now, I don't know if you can see down here, there's a few little pixels that it's missed. So I can switch to my marquee tool. I'm just typing M 
and then I can come down here and just mark key around this little area. And we still have generative fill, so I'll just click generative fill and click generate, and it'll fill that right in. And there you have it. Here's the before. So we started out with that, and we end up with this. So that is pretty impressive. Now again, most of you out there will not be doing this aggressive of a crop and having Photoshop fill that all in, but I'm just showing you that it can be done. So if you just have little areas you need to fill in, this does a fantastic job. Now, it is not perfect by no stretch of the imagination. And what I mean by that, if I zoom really into this image here, let me see if we can see where, yes, if you look like right here, you can see that resolution here does not really match this resolution here and it fades into here but it's not perfect but that is due to the fact that adobe are working with 1024 pixels and that has got to change and i know they'll change it i mean they have to change it nobody would be able to print this out and be satisfied you wouldn't be able to make a big print and add all this space in here or even a little bit of space it's going to be degraded in those areas so i am sure adobe will change this the resolution will bump up but I imagine it will probably cost us more if this is something we want. I'm sure we'll probably have to pay for it. I don't know. I don't work for Adobe, but I would think so. But for now, we can experiment with beta to our heart's content, and we can see the kind of results we can get. Now, there are workarounds for this if you want to fill in little 1024 pixel blocks and get good resolution. But who wants to do that? That's so time consuming. We have to get it to the point where we can just click a button like we're doing right now and getting a perfect image with full resolution, but I'm sure that is coming. I have one more example for you, and that is this Firefly image, but this is gonna be really cool. Check this out. Now, when you get your images back from Firefly, as you can see here, this is a 1024 by 1024 square image, okay? So there it is. But let's try generative expand on this. So let me grab my crop tool. I'm just typing C for the crop tool. And I'm still at a uh, 3 by 2 aspect ratio. So let me go ahead and make this really big. And let's put this building like, say, somewhere right around here. Isn't that a cool little building here? Let's make it pretty big here. And let's just move it right about here. And let's see what it can do here right in Photoshop. So let me click on generate. I'm not going to type anything in and we'll see what kind of result we get. Okay, that is pretty darn impressive. So there's the first one. Here's the second one. Look at that. That is pretty cool as well. And here is the last one. I like this one too. Now you could go in here and add other things here with generative fill, you know, lasso and put something here, maybe put a uh, elf in here or something like that add some flowers but you can just really create and i love to create here it's really a lot of fun but there you go that's really cool this is the new generative expand found in the crop tool in adobe photoshop beta i'm sure this will improve in time and come up to the resolutions that we really need but for now let's experiment let's play let's have fun you can do your workarounds where you can get higher resolutions but this is all going to change in the near future remember we're still in beta but let me know what you think about all this in the uh, comment section below do you like the way adobe's going with this new generative fill ai i think it's pretty cool and i'm pretty excited about it and I think it's really going to open up a lot of possibilities for us. Well, there it is, everyone. Photoshop Beta's Generative Expand found in the Crop Tool. Give it a try. I think you're going to really love it. And let me know what you think in the comments section below. If you enjoyed today's tutorial, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to this channel, please subscribe, click that bell notification, and then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll get notified about it. I want to thank each and every one of you out there for joining me today on the Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly, and I will see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing!